ladies and gentlemen good day my name is george and welcome to my youtube channel now in today's video this is a destiny related video destiny 2 related video we are gonna do an in-depth review of ariana's vow we'll be looking at the damage output of the gun with and without its perk and we'll be looking at a simple build that can increase the damage output of the gun all right let's get to it so we're gonna talk about the perk ariana's vow has a trait aka a perk called death at first glance now this allows the weapon to deal bonus damage when aiming down sight. This bonus damage is preserved if the shot deals precision damage or if it hits an elemental shield, say no shielded combatants, whether it be void, solar, or arc. Now, if you take a look, at this screenshot of me aiming down sight you'll notice that the trait death at first glance is active indicated by the red arrow pointing pointing at it now if you land a precision shot aka a headshot or a critical shot the trait will remain active this will allow the next bullet of your gun to deal bonus damage as well and if your next bullet is also a precision shot then it will keep the perk active for the other shot so all nine bullets can deal bonus damage if you land consecutive precision damage or if you land consecutive crit shots and the same applies for elemental shielded enemies the perk will remain active when it hits the shield after cracking the shield, you will have to do precision damage to preserve the perk. So basically, this, this, this weapon can allow you to hit non-stop bonus damage against enemies, right? Which is absolutely crazy. But if you were to land a body shot or miss your opening shot, then the trait will deactivate so you will no longer be, be able to deal bonus damage if you land a body shot or if you miss the opening shot of your attack so to reactivate the perk after missing or landing a body shot you just have to stop aiming downside for a few seconds or you can just put away the gun then take it out back then you'll have the perk reactivated simple one to to get it back now the catalyst of the gun allows you to generate orbs on multi kills and it gives you one more bullet in the chamber so it increases the magazine size from eight to nine and it gives you auto loading holster simple yet very effective if you ask me now let's talk about damage output and builds that affect damage output I did some testing with this in a strike to see how I can increase the damage output of the gun and I made a little spreadsheet showing the numbers or you know the damage output numbers based upon the different enemies that we come across in the strike to make you have an understanding of how much damage I can potentially put out with the gun and trust me some very high numbers i think the highest number the highest damage output number the gun gave me was above 50k like 50,300 and something damage against the last boss the two damage increasing perks i used with the vow to try and increase its output was the whisper of hedron stasis fragment it gives you a weapon damage after freezing a target with stasis 
and I used high energy fire while charged with light you gain a bonus to weapon damage each defeated combatant consumes one stack of charge with light so I basically use these two to try and pair it with first glance to increase or to try and double the amount of damage that the weapon can output now if we take a look at the spreadsheet to observe the damage numbers or to observe the damage that I did now two tables because I ran it in two strikes the first strike that I went into with the gun was Scarlet Keep now as you can observe with the table or with the spreadsheet numbers dealing precision damage to red bar enemies the highest damage output I did with all three with all three buffs activated was 35,541 now it's the same with first glance and the um, stasis fragment I call the stasis fragment damage boost so damage boost is the stasis fragment and high energy fire is the charge with light perk now with all three buffs activated as I said before I did 35,541 damage with first glance activated plus the stasis fragment damage boost I also did 35,500 and 41 now it seems that against red bar enemies it max out or it caps out at 35,541 damage because even in the inverted spire strike that I did with all three buffs basically the same so yeah now one and two irregularities that I came across in the inverted spire I managed to hit a cabal at the back crit spot for 40,630 now I'm not sure how but it happened <laughs> it definitely happened I'm, I'm, I don't know how it happened but it happened guessing RNG was on my side for that shot now damage against the elites yeah start with the elites instead of the boss because the, with the elites those are the you know the shielded combatants with first glance only with their shield activated I did a total of 25,777 now after them shield break and he had precision damage against them it's 21,517 with first glance only but with all three buffs activated I did a max damage at 26,896 with the boss damage now this is where things get a little interesting in the inverted spire with all three buffs activated I did 50 3,791 now that is a lot of damage against a boss with a hand cannon now body shot wise yeah the gun kinda iffy as it relates to body shot body shot wise I mean the highest damage that I did with a body shot was with first glance only and that was 25,043 but then again you know I'm, I'm guessing RNG or something with the bullets maybe it was my range or the distance I was but most of the body shot them I was point blank but then again RNG is RNG right so pairing Ariana's vow with high energy fire 
and stasis fragment weapon boost it's possibly the best combination like one of the best combinations that you can run with the gun everything works with synergy everything meshes and blends together very good very appropriately so in 2021 ariana's foe is absolutely and still a great choice in all pve activities that you can think about whether it be regular strikes or nightfall grandmaster nightfall you pick an ariana's vow you can't go wrong trust me definitely can't go wrong now this concludes the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it this is my first video i mean please don't beat me up in the comment section i'm trying i'm trying i'm absolutely trying you know i'm just a little guy trying to think man i'm just trying to think <laughs> so if you have any interest in ariana's vow build or combo that you use please tell me in the comment section below and don't forget to like and to subscribe because i got more stuff coming man i'm gonna be making more videos son so you you know what don't even hit the subscribe button gently tap it caress it that's right take your mouse and slightly rub it over and then hit subscribe that's right give it a, a little tap just give it a little tap yeah all right i'll catch you in the next one peace